This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. So we at Bravo Flight, when we try to come up with ideas for our constitution, we decided that we would keep it to some Air Force basics. We would have our good behaviors represented by the uh, flying, fighting, winning Air Force jets, and our uh, bad behaviors represented by the uh, defeated opposition. And we sum that all up with a rhyme that we're going to give to you right now. Three instructors, 41 students, five weeks, and equal contributions. Goals, good behaviors and bad behaviors, make up our constitution. We shall show up to class with positive attitudes and motivation. With no negativity and lack of participation. We shall have respect for each other with teamwork and cooperation. And that will not work with stubbornness or lack of communication. We shall be actively engaged with understanding and thoughtfulness. No need for selfishness, ignorance, or stubbornness. We shall not gossip, complain, or be non-compliant. But instead have good work ethic, trust each other, and be open-minded. <laughs> <laughs> we should take initiative, seek empathy, and remain enthusiastic. But we can't do it without commitment, being confident, or sarcastic. We all set goals for ourselves to accomplish. And they are to seek people's skills, leadership skills. Knowledge. We all want to be better public speakers and organizers. We also want positive growth and success in future of the body. We appreciate you guys standing here and listening to what we had to share. And shout out to our instructor who's standing right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. We are on a problem flight. Hey, honey honey badger, we don't give up. Hold up. Let's tell them what we really do. All right, honey badgers. When I say honey, you say badgers. Honey! Give me a blade of grass. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Let's go. Let's go, let's go, look at him move, nice. Uh, I say honey, you're going to say badger, so uh, honey, badger, badger. honey, badger. badger, what do we do, we, we care. care. So much enthusiasm. <laughs> Justify. Oh, here makes the progress. What's next? Let's go for Zebra. Did you find one that says, at the very last paragraph in number 10, very last paragraph on page 6. Uh, you failed to uphold Air Force core values in your dirt bag. I'm sorry, sir. So, there you go. Thank you. Yep, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Once he walks in, so it might be a couple seconds. Be ready to call. I'll try to be. I got a pretty projector. Y'all be like, yeah, I can't believe it. It was just, it was everywhere. The water's everywhere. Okay. Okay. Be loud. One of the worst ones that I've ever seen. Surprise! Very surprised, very surprised. You guys got me well. I, I mean, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Wait, 
Marching eval, let's go. part about ALS is probably getting to meet new people from different fur fields that have been here at the space about the same time as me. Never seen these people in my entire career here and apparently they've been here at the same time as me so it's good to meet some people that have you know been here about the same time meet some new friends. If you could do ALS all over again would you? Possibly. Possibly? Um, yeah at this moment no I'm just glad to be able to get through this ALS class um, with time, everything changes, so obviously ALS is going to change. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, Aaron Weeks. Thank you. And Charlie Fly has a chant, don't they? What's you guys' chant? Uh, we really don't. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to put that in no, the video. No, it'll be okay. okay. No chant okay. today. Okay, okay, no chant. No, no chant. chant. Okay, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. So now we have Airman Shay from <laughs> the best flight. Oh, excuse me, I have a cough. From Bravo Flight is what I said. So, hello Airman Shay. Hello. Welcome. Honey Badger Flight. Honey Badgers. How do you like that you're a particular ALS instructor? I know that we have Technical Sergeant Garvin. How do you feel about her as an ALS instructor? She is incredible. She's like one of the best instructors for anything that I've ever had, any class that I've ever had. Her teaching methods are like on point. She kind of caters to everybody's needs as far as learning. I have a question for you, Erwin Holmes. So, you, have a, you have a question for me, man? What have you really taken in with the feedback system? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You it's funny. That. No. Okay, Erwin Fenwick yes, from Alpha Flight? Charlie Flight. Char oh, excuse me, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope you can edit that. I, did, I really, I thought she was Alpha. Okay, so I just got some recent intel that you are Charlie Flight's camera lady. Mm hmm. So how has that been, being able to be behind the scenes on some of the things that your flight and all the rest of the flights are doing every day? I love being able to capture the little moments that nobody really notices that I'm capturing, actually. Uh, when they're sitting together, laughing together, and I even got some really cool stage pics of people in front of their state flags holding up. Sergeant Johnson, that's your instructor, right? Mm -hmm. How do you like working with Sergeant Johnson? I know he's one of the newer instructors. How has that been for you? Oh, he is great. Mm -hmm. Individualized consideration for all of us. He likes to joke and tease us too. He likes to make fun of us, but it's all in good fun. He makes us laugh and he makes us relax too, like before we do a speech or something. Mm -hmm. Make a joke, we'll relax a little bit and feel more comfortable talking in front of everybody. Aaron Wiswell! Airman Wiswell from, what flight was that? Uh, I think it was Bad Bravo flight. Bra Bravo, I keep getting Bravo and best. Like yeah, my tongue is just, it it's, it's similar. If it's one thing that you had to change about ALS, what would you change? I would have to say, honestly, it would be maybe not so much homework. I just feel like. <laughs> Cause we all hate homework. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily <laughs> that, it's just, well maybe it's because I have a family, but it's just really hard. And, 
it's just really demanding to be able to balance, you know, going to school, uh, having a family, and just doing your homework assignments while trying to study on top of that for the test at the end. I just found that very difficult. Aaron Schmidt from Alpha Flight. That's me. Background, you're a career field. I'm explosive ordnance disposal. Okay, so EOD, we have EOD troop. Your instructor is Sergeant Montgomery, correct? Correct. So how has she been as an instructor? She's been a great instructor. She keeps the motivation up. You know, it's always exciting. I, I like to fall asleep in class. Well, not here, but generally in class, I like to fall asleep. And she's kept me from doing that the whole time. So it's been very interactive and, and very informational. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Senior Aaron Presley. Yes, yes. From, from Bravo Flight. My question for you is, what is something that you learned in ALS that you feel like the flight line guys will really be able to utilize? Uh, one thing I learned that the flight line guys will be able to utilize is uh, professionalism and to be more sensitive towards others' feelings, you know. Okay. That I will learn that uh, there is a bigger Air Force and not everyone is the same. Yeah. Ethical leadership, uh, simply because a lot of times we do things as a double-edged sword, meaning sometimes we have to put things to the side for the real mission, but yet when you're not uh, doing real-world missions, you have your training, that's when you have to follow your standards. Now that you guys have heard a little bit from the ALS students, let's talk to the man behind the camera. Uh, we'll see oh. Airman Logan oh, from okay. Bravo Flight. You Please know, hey. join us. Hey, what's Yay. up? I know how hard you've been working to really put this video together. What has been the most exciting thing for you? Because I know making videos here is really a passion of yours. It is a passion, yeah. So normally I will go out and travel somewhere over the weekend and I'll make a video about it. So this class, this is the only video I've been working on. I won't take too much of your time. I know that you have to get back behind. I do. Back behind that Sergeant lens. Sergeant McLean is right here. He's so ready to go. So we're, we're going to have our... Um, All right. I didn't. Well, now we want to welcome our class leaders, uh, Staff Sergeant McLean here. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I'm sure what the people are dying to know is how is it not only having to take control of your flight of 13 people, but two other flights. As soon as I got here, uh, people said that it would be stressful, and uh, I thought it was going to be, but actually, it's been really easy because uh, I had uh, great flight leaders and everyone in uh, Class 15 Echo has actually stepped up to the plate, done everything that they're supposed to do. How has the different instructors kind of groomed you or helped you to kind of lead all these people? And, uh, each of them have given me advice and uh, history that they, or lessons that they've learned throughout their history as uh, NCOs. Especially Sergeant Montgomery, on a regular basis we have had uh, little one-to-one, -one, heart heart-to-heart talks and she's mentored me a lot and actually uh, uh, I'm going to continue having her as a mentor after this. I know you have 39 other people that are pulling you every which way, so I'll let you go ahead and go, but I appreciate you coming out talking to us, and um, I'll see you soon. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>